Welcome! In this video I will be covering food photography, in particular meat, with your smartphone. I'm Tara Rai from Atelier M Studio and you can find me here. So in Antwerp I'm also doing a local feature. There's a new butcher shop that opened up uh, in its out and they're located on Museum Strat near the Fine Arts Museum so we're headed down there to pick up our meat for the shoot and there's going to be dead animals. And they're located on Museum Strata number 15 and they are open on Sundays. And right away you can see that they are really a butcher and you can take a number, you must take a number in order to be serviced. And we are going to follow kind of a famous person. He's the rib master in Antwerp. And we're going to take a look around and there's a lot of options if you do not want to go directly and ask for meat at the counter. There are a lot of takeaway options and prepare at home options as well as some veggies. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get the chicken today. And so the rib master of Antwerp is going to select his cuts of meat and the universal language of using your fingers to point at a particular cut. And so while the rib master and the people at butcher store discuss, I'm going to check out other things and they have cured meats available at the other end of the counter and they will slice it for you on site. It looks like we're all wrapped up and ready to go and begin. When it comes to food photography, I like to look at the whole process up from preparation to presentation and include some elements that we don't normally think about like smell or touch or sound or taste. And as you can see, we have our ribs and I did take some pictures during the preparation phase, which I'll show you at the end of the video. As for the setup, I used window light with no direct sun, either on a sunny or overcast day and just a window that does not have any trees or anything blocking it. And then I'm choosing a background that's neutral to highlight the food. And the distance from the window is dependent on what kind of look or feel that you would like. I'm going to choose to be further away from the window and go for a more moodier look and I'm about one and a half meters, five feet away. And you can take this photo at any angle as long as you're not blocking the light so my body isn't in front of the window and the counter. And I'm actually going to shoot from above. So the ribs are done cooking and there is a plus sign that you can match, two plus signs where you match up to make sure you're level when you're shooting from above. And at this moment the picture is quite dull so I'm going to add one of those elements that I talked about and I'm going to add a human element to help me create one of the senses in the photo. And you need to keep this in mind for different types of foods. And for meat I'm actually going, and for ribs in particular, it's important in ribs that the meat peels off of the bone properly. So I'm going to instruct my model on how to do this um, to show that food element that is important to ribs. And I'm going to take a couple of shots. And one of the things I'm going to do is since I'm shooting from above, focus is not so much of a concern here because everything is at the same plane. So I'm going to focus on the brighter side of her hand because it is really bright because of the surface that I'm shooting on and I'm going to keep I have to keep focusing and refocusing to lock the exposure on her hand every time because the level will adjust when I'm shooting from above. So I took those photos straight with my smartphone. The only thing I did was crop and straighten it and apply these filters. So 
So for the preparation phase, I used an app that manually adjusts my camera to take the pictures. I'm Tara Rai from Atelier M Studio and you can find me here. For more how-to videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for the rib recipe, you can find it on my website at blog15. Check back with you later.